it's more like a best friend, I would kind of say, because then there's like the side of you that like should be okay to hang out with their family, and but you could still go out to dinner and it not be completely awkward. Be, you have to be comfortable with what you guys are doing. Be able to make the right decisions. They have to be smart, funny, everything you want to look for in a person. Um, I would have to say like you have to get along with the person and like have a lot of things in common. It's just kind of something that you feel deep inside like you know that there is somebody that's really special. My parents like say something where they're like you know I don't know if they're right for you or something like I take that into a big consideration just because they raise me they know me <laughs> so I mean that's a big thing for me is like basically how they interact with my family because <laughs> I would say after college and like, so what, like 25, like mid mid 20s, because then you guys have your guys' head on straight and you kind of know where you're going. I'm gonna wait until I'm out of college and like kind of know what I'm gonna do in my life personally, because I feel like you have to know what you're gonna do in your life before you can add another person into that. Wait until I'm like 28 or 30, so then I really know. Like I don't want to get divorced ever, so. Today, nowadays, people start dating after they hang out like once or twice, jumping into things way too soon, uh, jumping into things after like one hookup, thinking that like the sexual attraction is the physical attraction, and that's uh, that always leads to a bad relationship. Yeah, I would have to agree. It's like just getting into things too quick. Like you want to get to know the person before you start thinking anything serious or long term or whatever you guys are expecting. Uh -huh.